Okay, my name is Mohammed Jinnah. I'm from Singapore. I'm representing United World Halal Development, which promoting halal and halal and tayyiban concept globally. And Alhamdulillah, we have succeeded in many non-Muslim countries to establish halal friendly fruit, halal certified products, also halal tourism. So in a such a way, we are promoting in a global, global halal products, mm -hmm. every countries, even Muslim country, non-Muslim country, to bring awareness to among Muslim and non-Muslim about halal products and halal tourism. Okay, we, we did organize one conference uh, last year with your team member. He came to Singapore. Alhamdulillah, the, the crowd was amazing. And people love to see the technical concept in the Quran and the scientific proof which has been proved by the people. So it's reached to the people. And inshallah, we are willing to organize such a more conferences in Southeast Asia. And they, they read Quran in the verses, but they never go into the deeper level, into the scientific proof. After they realizing, after our seminar, people feel that, no, we have to be spend more time into that scientific way and which uh, you, uh, my Dr. Hanan he has been doing a very great job to people to be understand in an easy way of the, the scientific proof. I think this is a very good initiative to talking about the Muslims to be united and halal food industry is one of the key which I am thinking where we can join all the Muslims together in, in the cause of the unity. Halal food can make them as a one of the best uh, platform to bring together the entire Ummah into the one platform in the name of halal food, in the name of halal tourism, in the name of the halal is no longer as a food. Halal is a lifestyle of the Muslims. And that way we will unite as a one team and what he say that exactly correct our brothers and sisters wherever you live it does not matter but you have to be come under one uniform way of united Ummah. I think this is very much uh, in the past that the system has been very much damaged. Every country have their own way of halal standards. Now CIMIC, name called as an Islamic organization of 57 nations, they came out with their own procedure now, standard operating procedure, SOP, and standards, name called CIMIC standard, also GSO standard. It's been approved by OIC members, even Turkey is one of the members of OIC country that has been approved. And now we are in the implementation stage. So for the past, what you said exactly, absolutely right, we have been struggling to come out with the one logo system. Now there are each and every country have a halal logo, but in future, this is going to be as a one logo system. Uh, today we have a OIC system that is called Islamic Union, but I, what I feel that is not uh, functioning in a proper way. Inshallah, the time has been nearing and OIC countries already established system, uh, we, we make things to be happen in a p positive way. So this is going to be work out very well. That is what we pray and we, we our prayers uh, towards one united Ummah and that's going to be uniform into the one way, one logo, one Ummah, one Mahdi. I, I love that the way you presenting to the people uh, because it's more into the scientifically you are explaining to the common man. That's exactly understandable for the common man what is about Quran says in, in, in the message. And this message, because most of the time, A9 system, A9 TV is not reachable to many countries. It's a satellite TV. I think we, we need to work out some way how we can bring this message to the common ground, because most of the time, the language will be in the barriers. People in the different parts of the world, they could not be able to understand what you've been delivering. So that has to be translated into the regional language. Then appropriately, the message will be reaching. I have, I have limitedly accessing A9, but in, I, I, maybe I, I need more time to see how they can broadcasting, what are the uh, uh, newses and important documentary. But I have seen few, but I'm really satisfied the way which is presenting in the right way. I, I, I like to say only one thing. We all, as a one Ummah, we have to be united with each other. There are a lot of differences in the parts of the world. People are talking about sex, people are talking about different religious uh, concepts, people are talking about the re religious principles. This we have to put aside. And we have to become as a one Ummah in a one cost message, saying that La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So we are, we are united. We have to come into the one umbrella in one flag and say that we are one Muslims. So we have to put aside the message which we have been fighting each other, that's no longer is going to be help for us. And Muslim country, non-Muslim country today, very much understand about Islam. 
very much uh, focusing in Islamic principles and the Islamic spreading non-Muslim country in a very bigger way. So, inshallah, one day the Ummah will be realizing the impact and we will be turned to the right path one day, inshallah. Yeah, I'm really thankful to you for the time you spent. I'm, I'm really willing to come very often to Turkey to promote halal and tourism in Turkey because it's a caliphate where we ruled 800, uh, 800 years to the Muslim Ummah as so a one caliphate system. So I prefer, I pray the same system will come back again. That's what the entire Muslim is with Dua today.